what you gonna cook in your kitchen hey let's take a look in your kitchen can't wait till you cook in your kitchen in your kitchen oh man cooking collard greens and cornbread you have that barbecue grilling too what's that apple pie What's up? I'm your host, Jared of My Combos, man. Thank you. Welcome to the show. I got some real tasty good food. We're going to show you how to butterfly cook some chicken breast on top of the stove. We got some garlic toast. We got some nice spaghetti. And we got some broccoli. Something quick, fast, and tasty. This won't even take 20 minutes to do in your kitchen. Like I said, don't be scared to cook in your kitchen. We having baked chicken. Um, spaghetti and some broccoli real easy man you know what I'm saying it's easy it's what you have in your kitchen remember it's not about you cooking the best we trying to show you the easiest way how to cook a meal it's your boy Jared and my cumbers man you know what I'm saying we doing our thing in your kitchen all right first we, what you want to do you want to wash your hands first of all we're going to get our hands, we're going to wash our hands, we're going to do our thing. Alright, for your pan, you see the pan of water for your chicken. And then I got a pan of water here for my um, spaghetti. So just turn your eyes on low here. You want to put maybe a tablespoon of butter for your chicken. You know, you can put a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half for your chicken the water for your spaghetti and what I'm going to do I'm going to put some salt in my water for my spaghetti you don't have to I put the salt in I don't put that much I put uh, maybe a half a teaspoon for me I love thin spaghetti I'm cooking just for three for me my son and my daughter so I don't need that much spaghetti can you take your spaghetti you know, crunch it up, pop it up, however you want. I don't like them long. My kids don't like them long. You can just throw them in there. Um, I might do a little bit more. If you want them, if you want to do more, you can. It all depends on how many people you cook it for. You know what I'm saying? So then you just put it in, cut your eye on. You can leave your own high, low. Um, cut your eye on. I cut it kind of high and let it boil, and I turn it down. A lot of people don't put, a lot of people don't do this, but I do it. You don't have to. I put grease, some uh, oil, vegetable oil. I just put a little. That helps it for it won't stick. A lot of people don't do that. You can put olive oil in. I love cooking with olive oil. Or you don't have to put no oil in at all. It's good that you keep, that you keep, keep, keep um, stirring this so it won't break up. And then that's all you do, man. It's easy. You keep doing it till you before it won't break up. You stir it up. You know what I'm saying? Put your utensils on the side. And there's your um your spaghetti. I'm gonna go over here and do the um show you how to cut the chicken breast. Rinse that chicken breast off real good, man. You know what I'm saying? I use cold water. I use a clean rag and I put the cutting board on top of the rag. I put the cutting board on top of the rag so it won't slide. You know what I'm saying? Any kind of cutting board, all you have to do is put a rag on it or fold it and put it on your cutting board and it won't slide. You won't cut yourself first. And then what you want to do, you want to cut it. You want to cut it. You, you don't want your hand in the way. You can have it on top or you can have it flat down. I like it on top. You know, you gotta watch your hands, man, when you're cutting this. She's gonna cook in your kitchen. Hey, let's take and a this look. is how you in butterfly your kitchen, a chicken breast. And what you wanna do, you wanna get it almost oh, even. You don't wanna cut it all the way through. See? That's called butterfly, because it's still it's still pieced on. So now you got a lot of meat to work with, and it's thin, the meat is thin, it can cook all the way through. A lot of people have a butterfly. Um, you might want to stuff it with something, but we're not going to do stuffed chicken today. I'm just going to show you how to cook some really good, juicy chicken breasts. So there you is, you have your butterfly. So it's what you do and what you have in your kitchen. Like I said, this is not a cook show to show people that I can cook better than them or somebody can cook better than me. This is a cook show to let you throw down in your kitchen. But we have it right here. We have the um, chicken breast right here, man. See that butter? 
That's all the butter you're gonna need for your chicken breast. Let that water warm up. And then what I normally do, I normally put it, uh, you can put it any kind of way you want. Um, I put the chicken breast in like that. A lot of times, the best way to, to, if you really like a lot of flavor for your chicken, sprinkle it with some basil, rosemary, or rosemary, or both, basil and rosemary. Okay, so basically we jumped over here with chicken breast and it's looking good, man. You know, you want to flip it over and your seasonings on there. And um, basically, you can cut it and then, you know, let it simmer on one side, let it cook for about, I'll say maybe five minutes on one side. And then what you want to do, I turned my eye up. So now, I'm going to let it cook kind of fast on the other side, kind of fast for about four minutes. So now I'm finna brown the other side. It's finna be almost like I'm baking it now. Here we go. We're flipping this. What you want? You want that little crisp thing. Now, while the crisp on there and it's cooking really good, you want to turn your eyes back down. Very, very low. While you waiting on that, there shouldn't be no but there should be no water in there right now. Or it should be a little water. When you first begin, it's going to be a water. But now it shouldn't be no water at all. You got your broccoli cooking. We have our spaghetti already ready, waiting on us. And that's basically what you do. Now, if you don't know about cooking or you want to know if this is cooking through or not, you can get your knife. And you can also cut it. Be careful. Don't cut the pan. You know, you can cut it a little bit. And then you look through. All the way through. No pink. If it's pink, it's not done. Now, if you have some pink in here, and you just on your second side, to get the crisp, the crunchy taste on it, like it's baked, put some water in it. All you do, grab it. Put a little water. You can put just a little bit of water and then cover it up. And then that water, that steam will cook the rest of that meat. But right now, everything is looking good. So what I'm doing right here, I'm pouring the spaghetti, I'm draining the spaghetti. Okay, here's the spaghetti, I put it in a little plate like this. And I'm just showing you how it looks. And I'll show you the finished product. Um, I got some diced tomato, and I got some Hans ketchup. I like it this way. Some people put salt. I don't want no salt, so I put some accent on here. My kids like accent or salt. I try to stay away from salt as um, possible. I use just very a little, <clears throat> very little salt. So basically, you have your um, chopped up tomatoes. You don't have to have. You don't have to use chopped tomatoes or tomato sauce. You know, some people like bell pepper, onions, and ragu. Some people use ragu, bell peppers, onions and they use tomato paste. I don't like tomato paste, I like mine like this. And you can do all different ways. This is just a quick way to show you there's a lot of flavor and it's really good, man, if you're trying to um, be in a rush or whatever. It only took like eight minutes just to prepare this. You know, you can get the can of tomatoes that's chopped up already, or you can chop yours up. This is only 99 cents at the store. And your um, spaghetti, you can get spaghetti for about $1.89. Two dollars. It all depends on what kind of pasta you like. Last but not least, oh yeah, we got that Texas toast. You can get this Texas toast, man. Garlic Texas toast. You can get your garlic Texas Texas toast. Why about two dollars? A dollar ninety-eight. Put it in there. My daughter wants some Texas toast. Normally, I put a little grease in there, or I put um some butter because it's already butter on there. I just don't want it to stick. You have your bro um, broccoli, you have your spaghetti, you have your baked chicken, bro roasted chicken or broiled, because it tastes like baked chicken with your rosemary and your basil. You have your, um, you know, you have a full course meal, man. This meal takes approximately maybe about 15, 16, 17 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Your broccoli, your spaghetti, your garlic toast, and your chicken. And I'm finna enjoy this. Yes, I am. In your kitchen, hey, let's take a look. In your kitchen, can't wait till you cook. In your kitchen, in your kitchen. Oh man, cooking collard greens and cornbread. Have that barbecue, grilling too. What's that? Apple pie, crumb cake. You give me goosebumps, baby. Die when you bake. Love the deep fried chicken and shrimp. Lots of tail on the side.
keep on steak And don't forget the chocolate cake I even love peanut butter and jelly Raspberry roll up, hold up Homemade fruit dip Make you bite your lip Skip and dip And stay in the kitchen Homemade cakes Apple pies Macaroni and cheese, please I love your secret recipes And we just try and make it ease When you cook in the kitchen In your kitchen In your kitchen What you gonna cook In your kitchen Hey, let's take a look In your kitchen Can't wait till you cook In your kitchen In your kitchen In your kitchen What you gonna cook In your kitchen Hey, let's take a look In your kitchen <laughs>